All right, today we've got a different one. We're going to be changing a brake assembly in a caravan, or at least two of them. Uh, these were taken off to inspect, and uh, we discovered that they're pretty well due for replacement. So we're going to rip the whole assembly off and uh, change them out for new ones. All right, so first job, we're going to take the brake cable off. Right, now there's two wires in the back here we have to find and disconnect. Okay, looks like they're held on with a couple of screw terminals. I'll open that up. There's one. And here's the other. Oh. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right, that one's a spanner job. Lucky last is always going to be the one that's the worst to come off. It's like having a spanner you can open and close. Yeah. Get another lock washer. It's just a bit tighter than finger tight right now. Yeah. It's just enough that you wouldn't get it with a ratchet. There we go. Right, one, two, three, four bolts. Two lock washers. Three lock washers. Now, no, they're twisted together with screw terminals. Oh. And this one's the junction for both sides. Alright, so as usual, there's brake dust, but we'll use a bit of grit mitts on that soon. Um, one of the reasons that made these uh, warrant inspection is the fact that the brake on the other side stuck. And this one looks like it's pretty close to doing that too. The other thing is the brake lining is in uh, pretty poor shape in these. All right, now we're gonna get the other side off. And these are, the brake pads on this are in slightly better shape, but still not great. Now magnet here, he's uh, not quite doing what it should. It's moving a bit, but it's not returning to position very well. It's probably a spring that's knackered up in here or not really sure, but either way, you do one, you do both anyway. Where's our magnet? There. Screw terminals. Okay. Okay, that's them. Definitely recommend putting some anti seize on these when we put them back on. Oh, yeah, well. This one's probably the only one that's going to come off easy. But yeah, these, these Nipex things, geez, they, or Knipex, however you pronounce it, they make it really easy. But you know, if I'm going to take one tool, that's like it's probably the one I'd take. On there. It's a sprinkle of lock washers. Okay, so this one has a bit more movement in here, but it should, when it's pushed into that position, return back there. So it's binding up pretty badly in there. And um, there's still some fractures and stuff happening on the brakes here as well. So um, yeah, all round, definitely overdue for replacement. All right, so time to pack up all the tools. 
we've got to wait a couple of days till we can acquire some replacements but uh, once we've got them we're back shove them back on and uh, see how they work now of course I've got uh, brake dust all over my hands so to the rescue is one of my sponsors uh, grip mitts wonderful stuff and uh, not so wonderful hose fitting I've got to fix stuff everywhere I go Alright, no more brake dust. You can get this stuff at Repco, by the way, if you're looking for it. 72 hours later. Okay, so it's a couple of days later. We managed, managed to procure some new ones. The trailer joint that we got these from uh, also said that they reckon the uh, drums are probably okay. Uh, these are almost worn down. You can see there's a wear indicator there. Now these come in left and right directions. The main uh, indicator here is the direction of these should be forwards to the direction of travel so you'll be traveling in this direction there's a brake adjuster here we'll sort that out in a minute yeah but the main thing i notice the difference with these is this bit is loose this bit is sprung on this one so there's definitely it's pushing against the brake springs whereas this one is not really it's not returning properly now the old ones used lock washers these ones use spring washers, which I think are probably better for the application, given the heat. I think these are imperial nuts. <laughs> what? I think these are imperial nuts. Okay. Bit of cleaner lube on these. All right, now these things are not polarized. It doesn't matter which way around you go. There's three wires here, so we've got these wires that go up to the trailer plug, these ones that go over to the other side, and these that go to the brake. So I've just got negative and positive to either side. We want to get this up out of the way somewhere so that it doesn't get doesn't end up colliding with something. Put that on the rear face of it in case they scrape something. It uh, doesn't wipe the wires out for the brakes. Handbrake lever to the top. This is the left hand one. We are on the left hand side. On you go. So what we might do is uh, give ourselves some fresh copper just to help things along a bit. These are really handy if you don't want to carry two sets of pliers. <laughs> now we're nearly done here and uh, my senior technician who owns the caravan, he's off uh, cleaning up the brake drums and putting the new seals on the outside, repacking the bearings with grease. And of course we've got more brake dust so we're going to use more grit mitts. Fun little fact about those guys, I actually approached them. Uh, when Solvol stopped making their blocks of soap, I felt there was a big uh, disturbance in the force. And so uh, I contacted them going, hey, would you send me some? And you know, if you like, I'll review it on YouTube. And they actually really liked that idea. And they sent me a bunch. And then I bought like 200 blocks of the stuff. Um, of which I've nearly used them all because it's been going everywhere and all the mates and friends and family. Uh, but they've been sending me some liquid stuff and some wash powder. It's a company called Envirofluid, uh, Australian company. It's good stuff, so I don't mind giving them a shout out whenever I can. Hello. Old brake drum, but with new inner seal and fresh grease. Oh. 
outer bearing. That one. So I'm going to need that uh, soap in a bit. There we go. Outer washer. And uh, big flat washer. And nut. It's a castellated nut. set you between 27 and 22 and it's not too bad come up to the nearest hole there it's pretty firm cool that still moves that's good go cap of the bearing sitting in it yep Paper inwards. Yep. A bit of grease in this one. Turn it regular. No, there's just so much grease in there. Yeah. That it um it's both sticky and slippery at the same time. Yeah, it is. There we go. Well we're gonna be well lubricated. Yep. So that's firm there. And we're gonna to go to the next hole. There's that hole out right there. That's good. How's that feel to you? Just go back one from it. Back one hole, or yeah, back one hole because it's loose. By the time you do that, yeah, um, where you were. Okay. looking at one of the older brake assemblies here and uh, the last thing we need to do with these is adjust them up and there's this little adjuster here which is basically a screw that adjusts the distance of the brake pads in and out and they contact the drum on the inside what there is on the back here is a little screwdriver hole you can shove a screwdriver through and you can adjust them up and down so what we need to do and an advice from the trailer manufacturers that uh, we've got these from and they know their stuff very well um, is to adjust these up until they contact the side and create a bit of resistance and then they go six clicks back off oh these are plugs that come out okay go this one i think i can feel it there there we go now we're starting to touch so now one two Three, four, five, six. That feels good. Right, right hand side. There we go. Now one, two, three. Four, five, six. I might have missed one. In fact, I'm almost sure I did. That's better. There we go we've got brakes done we'll have to do a road test on them and uh, do a bit of adjustment 
um, later to that, but uh, we'll make sure they all work properly. And uh, maybe the handbrake will need to get a quick adjustment, but back on the road for now, because we need this in the next couple of days. So that was done, I hope it was interesting. See you in the next one.